A few months ago, I got an email, and according to this email, I apparently really like making stinky things, which I wasn't really aware of. Actually, he said my favorite pastime was making stinky things, which I, I'm not sure why people think that, because I've gotten that comment many times. Either way, he mentioned something called U.S. Sorry, I never remember the name. U.S. government bathroom malodor, which is apparently some sort of stinky concoction developed by the U.S. government. I couldn't find too much about it, but there are a bunch of articles and little anecdotes here and there that said it was so bad that it actually induced fear and panic. And that when they had some volunteers smell it, in some cases, people were screaming from it and cursing. Other people said they, they just couldn't get it out of their nose and they couldn't stop smelling it. It sounds absolutely horrible. And I, I don't know, I just kind of don't believe it. I've smelled a lot of bad things, but I don't think it could be that bad. So I've decided to make it myself. And the goal, I guess, is to smell it, <laughs> just to see if it's as bad as people claim. I don't know. Hopefully I won't entirely regret it. To make it, it's kind of relatively simple. And in the email, he just included the whole list. It's just a concoction of a bunch of different chemicals. So I went ahead and bought them all and uh, they're right here. I think the thing that disturbs me the most is I can smell it from here, which is either a good sign or a bad sign. I'm not really sure if I want it to be, I'm not really sure I, how, I don't know. Either way, guess, uh, guess we'll get started. So the first one technically is this one. This is Scatel, which just by its name, you can tell isn't great. I can also smell it through the bag right now. It smells, I feel like it smells like a mix of a dirty kind of like a dirty animal farm and uh, a very used porta potty. It kind of smells like poo. It does. Ingredient two is two naphthalene thiol. This one scares me because anytime you see the word thiol in something, it means that there's sulfur and sulfur mixed with organic compounds are generally uh, very unpleasant. But to open it up, I have to get some gloves. Okay, and the journey begins. Maybe the lid's good to smell, not the actual thing. It's not that bad. It actually smells kind of like, um, I feel like burnt rubber. Do you want to try? Yeah, let me smell. Just, uh, I'll keep it away from your face. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the next ingredient, four methyl morpholine. And so the first thing I don't like, I can smell it. This is the part that bothers me, is that it's sealed in a bottle. <laughs> oh no. Oh God, I smell it from here. You smell here. it? Oh. Dude, that's just the essence of fish. Yeah, I'm not even gonna open this. I mean, I'm already worried. I don't even think these are the really bad ones. And the thing is, the thiol is a solid. It's gonna smell significantly worse once we actually dissolve it and get it in the liquid. So the next one I'll say is, this one I covered up because I, I don't know why I covered it. <laughs> so this one has a very beautiful name. It's called 4-methylphenyl-3-methylbutanoate. It's another one of those things that you can just smell from a, a distance away. Uh, I'm, I'm, no, I'm noticing a recurring theme. But what's very weird about this one it kind of just smells like a hardware store. From, maybe just because it's very faint coming out of the bottle, but it kind of smells, it kind of smells like the fresh, like the lumber section of a hardware store. Yeah, it smells like a hardware store. Yes. Hmm, okay. So, moving on, another tuna can. So 
this one is called hexanoic acid or caproic acid. And I've actually, I've made it in the past, years ago. I, I know, I, I know exactly how this smells. I'm very, I'm very experienced with this smell. I, every time I smell it, I can feel like my stomach clench. So you want to smell it? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> oh man, it's, it's unique. The best way that I can describe it as it's, it's like a musty, rotten cheese mixed with like a bit of that putrid smell of vomit. And it's not that bad. And there's one last ingredient. There's one more? Yes, it is in the fridge. Follow me. When I looked it up, I think it says it has an overpoweringly unpleasant smell. So I'm very interested to know what that's like. Okay. Oh, I smell it here. Ooh. That, that smells like sulfur, I believe. It's very, it's, this is very sulfury. Yeah, it smells like rotten eggs. It smells like very, very, very rotten eggs. Yeah, actually, maybe it has like a bit of a hydrogen sulfide smell. Like it's very, it's just very sulfury. But yeah, either way, those are all the ingredients. So we have the thioglycolic acid, the hexanoic acid, the 4-methylmorpholine, 4-methylphenyl, 3-methylbutanoate, the 2-naphthalene thiol, and then scatol. But it just occurred to me, uh, we're missing something. The main ingredient is what everything gets dissolved into. It's called dipropylene glycol, and I don't think it smells on its own, but I don't remember if I bought it or not. Maybe it's in the fridge? I swear, I must have bought it. I would not have just forgotten. I was so focused on the stinky things, I didn't order the main ingredient. Um, this is just sad. Well, every single project, every single one, I take all the time to order like, you know, weird little chemicals or weird tools, and then you show up and you don't have the main, like the main thing that you should, like every time. There's no Amazon Prime shipping for this stuff? Oh man, no. They're located, okay. Maybe we can get it. I think we can get it from Canada. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna order this and uh, I'll be back whenever I get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's been, I think five days and we finally got, well, I think it's the dipropylene glycol. So. Okay, yes. Dipropylene glycol. So now we're ready. I don't know if I'm actually ready. We can do it. I don't know if I'm ready to do it. We'll do it. Uh, if we smell anything, the fume is not working. The first question that we have is how much are we gonna make? In theory, I have however much this is. But I don't think I want to make this much. That's, that's kind of crazy. I think we should make just a vial of it. So we have all of the vials here. So we have a lot of these ones. <sighs> Come on. I mean, I think we need to go for a more moderate vial. Something like this. You think that's good? Why so much? I don't know. It just feels good. It feels right. <laughs> There is no, there are no instructions on how to mix this stuff. This is all I got. There's no like order. There's no anything. I don't really want the vial to spill, so we can put it here. Then as a double safety precaution, I sometimes like to put them in a nut, like something wider, so that if you, you can't really knock it over. So the first question is, how much are we making? 
I think filling this this about halfway is a good idea. Let's let's go with 18 mils. So if we want 18 mils, it's about 18 grams. Okay. So now every single one of these numbers has to be scaled to 18 grams. Right. I, I don't think I've used a calculator like this in like actually seven years. I feel like I'm back in a, a lab class. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's it. So these are all the grams that we need to do. The salt stuff is the least amount. So we'll start with that. You know what? We should put this up with a magnet. This is like our, our guide. Uh, time to spill all the stinky stuff. The first amount is 0.164. Look at that static just pulling it everywhere. You see it? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's put it in. <laughs> okay, we're at 0 0.007. Okay, 0.164 is more than I thought it was, apparently. That's a lot. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's good. No, look. Oh. So what we're going to do now is the next ingredient is the same amount of the, uh, the naphthalene thiol. That's probably an overshoot then. Ooh. Just going to add it to this vial and hope that I don't spill it. I'm doing it with my left hand so you can get a good camera shot. So now we have our mix of scatol and two naphthane thiol. And this is where I guess the fun part <laughs> starts. <laughs> uh, we get to start adding liquids and dissolving stuff. So, Step two is get the dipropylene glycol going. I'm gonna use this thing. So this pipette's pretty simple. Get her. Now we can swirl it around. It's so goopy. Doesn't look like it's dissolving that much. No, not at all. We should add the thioglycolic acid. Um, it'll loosen things up and probably dissolve some things. Okay, sometimes it leaks. Okay, so, kind of looks like it's doing something. Kind of looks like it didn't mix. Like it just sank to the bottom. No, we're gonna have to get some stirring up in this. I'm roughly in there. The chunks are still floating around though. Yeah, the chunks are... Those chunks are presenting a problem. <laughs> uh, so the next one is 1.08 grams of the hexanoic. So this is what we have. Eh, I don't know if it looks like some of it's disappearing. Kind of looks like it is. Yeah, I think so. Uh, no, I still see the same chunk. So, and methylmorpholine, we're going to slam another 1.2 grams. I just don't know why it's not dissolving. Is it supposed to? I, I guess you don't. I'm assuming it should. I think we might have messed up. 
Look, it's getting white. Kind of looks like the st the stuff's disappearing. Like it's breaking it up or something, right? Did it uh, Did it say if it needed to be heated up on the recipe? There's this is the recipe. <laughs> That's it. It looks like it definitely looks. I think it looks like there's less. I think it looks like it's disappearing. So exciting. So exciting. Aren't you excited to smell it? To be honest, I kind of am. I don't know what I am. So the last thing is okay. right now. It's four methyl phenyl, three methyl butanoate. Yeah, I will add it and we can be very proud that we have completed US standard bathroom malodor. We can be very proud that we've, we achieved this great accomplishment. Are you ready for this? creation it's officially done it's officially i mean that's no, not done <laughs> but everything's in there we have to just wait for those big chunks to disappear i hope they disappear but it's they definitely look like they're going down right how are we gonna go about smelling this i don't think it's smart to just go i think we gotta put like a drop in a little vial and then let it vaporize and i think we should build a stink chamber oh like a container like this I kind of like one with a screw top. Maybe something made out of glass. Like, I, I feel like a mason jar is pretty good. Because there's going to be so little, it's not dangerous. But you need to be able to, like, put your entire nose in. So you think this is good? I think that's, yeah, that's fine. That, that should or work. Or we can make a big chamber. Mm. Let's just go with the mason jar. I think a mason jar is good. Yeah. Yeah, it's not quite done, but it's getting there. Yeah, okay. No, I, we can actually take a break now. Oh, God. So why are you destroying the table? We're on break. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our break is done. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess we're ready. It's completely clear. So... Everything dissolved and um, that's good, I guess. I think what we were saying is we're gonna make a stink, a stinky chamber. How much do we, how much do we think we need? It's supposed to be ridiculously stinky. So I don't think we need very much. I don't know. I'd say like a teaspoon. That's an insane amount. <laughs> it's supposed to be so potent. So it's like, we should only have to put like a couple drops in there, right? I think half a mil is good. Okay, let's go for it. Okay. Uh, one sec. I'm going to do the first thing, which is very important. I'm going to label this. Little stink lines. Is that good? Got my glasses on first. I feel like I'm shaking a bit. I don't know why. I'm not actually scared. That's a lot. Okay. Don't trip anymore. Okay. Why am, I, why am I doing this? I'll cover the stinky chamber. Let the look, we can take it out of the fume hood. We'll let the stink build up. But I'll leave it in here for now, just in case it leaks. We can cap this. So now we have our pure stinky goo. That's it. You just gotta wait a bit. This is gonna be so bad. So I think we're good. Okay. I'm actually kind of scared. <laughs> oh, I'm actually kind of nervous. <coughs> oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's, it really does just smell like all the ingredients mixed together. They said it had a, quote, strong fecal odor, but I don't find that the scatule, I mean, the scatule is only at 0.91%, and it smells like it's 0.91%. It really doesn't feel like it's there. Definitely the sulfurs take over. It just, it kind of smells like a mix of 
just garbage and I guess like a really not well-maintained public bathroom. It's really? bad, but it's really not that bad. Really? I'm kind of on it. I'm kind of let down. I mean, or maybe I'm just delusional. You want to try it? That's disgusting. That smells absolutely rancid. Oh, it doesn't want to leave my nose. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. This is dirty, dude. Well, we'll have the uh, some of the other guys smell it. But yeah, I don't think we need gloves to hold this anymore because it's like, well, no, whatever. So, hey guys. No, I don't want to smell it. <laughs> I'll get it over with. Open Lift it, open. it and just kind of like, Oh, you can smell from here. <laughs> oh, that's rancid. <laughs> it smells like poo poo. <laughs> it's so bad. You can't even make it in? I can't even make it in, man. I can't even get close, dude. <laughs> I, have a, <laughs> I have a very strong sense of smell. That's very bad. You I can open? smell it already. It smells like actual. Just You can swear? No. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this just f***ing hit. It. it just hits you, dude. Oh, dude, that's no. <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing that again. That's vile. It's not the world ending stink that I thought it would be. I'm obviously alone on this one. I rate this a uh, 4.6 on 10 for stink. Oh my goodness. Really? <laughs> yeah. I think I have to come up with something that I think is a 10 on 10. Uh, I'm not sure what other people would think. <laughs> Maybe it'll kill them. <laughs> so that's it. Catch. No. Oh. <laughs> Imagine it just shattered on the ground. I think it actually, if I dropped any vial here, the floors, they're soft enough that they won't shatter. Like we can try it with this. Uh... Look at this, prototype. No, never mind. 